Yes, your boy, AJ Cornerman Box. I have the honor today to be one, one of the great cornermans, Coach Kevin Cunningham. First of all, it's an honor. Coach, how you feeling today? I'm good, man. I'm good. It's chicken. You know, Low mic, number five. here for the pressure. You know, we got ammo waves fighting on the historical horses. Oh, it's, it's a good day. Right. Now, you, you picked up ammo. He's been on the roll ever since, man. Yeah. How, how's the relationship and the chemistry been between you two guys? The chemistry is great. And uh, he's a hard worker. He's you know, a talented young fighter, strong. And uh, he's got all the makings of a, of a future champion. Right. Now, now you as a trainer, what kind, what kind of things do you, do you implement into your fighters? What can you say uh, you do to make them great? Well, you know, I, you know me, I, I, I try to make a guy as well-rounded as possible. You know, defense, offense, distance, range, balance. You know, uh, you know just have them fundamentally sound. You know, fundamentals will take you further than just natural talent. You know, when the reflexes go away, you know, the timing, rhythm, slow up, fundamentals will still be there. So you got to make sure the guy is fundamentally sound, and that's what I try to focus on most of my guys. Right. Now, Coach, you have a great boxing mind. Who are some of the guys that you learned from coming up? Well, guys I looked up to, well, my, one of my main mentors was Emmanuel Stewart. Oh, wow. And, you know, guys like George e. Benton, you know, mm. uh, uh, you know, there's several coaches back in St. Louis where I come from that, that were great coaches. So, you know, I had a lot of great old school historical coaches that I learned a lot from. Kenny Adams, he's one. So, yeah, I've, I've had some good right. mentors. Not so that's why, you know, I kind of still train with the old school mentality. Mm. So at the end of the day, it's boxing. Right, you know? right. Now, Coach, what, what got you into the sport of boxing? What made you fall in love with it that you said, man, this is what I want to do for the rest yeah, of my yeah, life? As a kid, you know, you, 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 know, you play sports to stay out of trouble. So, you know, boxing was you know, football, but boxing was the first love. So, you know, I've been dealing with it since I was 10 years old. So. Wow. Now, how was that upbringing like in St. Louis? Because I'm pretty sure some communities could be a little rough out there. <laughs> yes. You know, St. Louis is, is one of the most, you know, dangerous cities in this country. So it, it was rough. So, you know, but we all go through that. We all deal with that. But, you know, it's about how you persevere and how you come through it. And, uh, you know, and that's why coaching young men and especially disadvantaged youth, you know, helping them deal with their situation. Checking. You, know, you kind of fall in love with that. You know, boxing is, is a microcosm of life, so it all comes together. Right. Now, what advice would you have for kids to stay out of trouble, you know, that, that you know, maybe want to look for a way out? I mean, what, what was the question? Uh, what advice would you have for kids looking to stay out of trouble and look for a way out? Oh, like, well, you know, the most simple thing, and, and, the, and the most basic thing is just to, you know, find something positive to do mm -hmm. and, 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 and stick with it and, 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 and try to stay in a positive lane with whatever you're doing. You know, make sure it's something positive, you know, something productive, and uh, just pretty much stay focused. Right. Now, Coach, real quick before we let you go, uh, this fight is between two undefeated fighters, you know, uh, Ammo Williams, obviously, and Cordell Booker. Yeah. Very tough fight. Uh, just, what are your thoughts on this fight between these guys, man? Yeah, I think this is it's, it's, it, this this is an underrated fight because uh, absolutely you got two young guys that are undefeated and and, and and they're on their way up. And most most guys in this situation, you know, especially with Ammo ten and old. Fight Cordell, who's 17. And old. Most guys is 10 and old probably wouldn't take a fight like this. Mm -hmm. but, you know. Ammo wants to put everybody on notice and let them know that he's coming. Mm -hmm. And this is the type of fight that will send that message. So I think it's going to be a great fight. Cordell's probably the most, uh, in terms of skill, he's probably the most skillful guy that Ammo's faced thus far. So, mm. you know, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, man, Coach, thank you so much for your time, man. Where can we follow you at, Coach? Uh, I'm on Instagram at, at Coach Kev. Uh, Cunningham, uh, Facebook, Kevin Cunningham, so Twitter. Uh, right, you you all over. Yeah, yeah, I'm on Twitter. I'm, I'm, all, I'm a little bit of everywhere. So right, right. Me. You got any shout out you want to give, Coach, to anybody? Yeah, or? I mean, I'm just here, you know, here for the show and, uh, you know, tune in Saturday night. It's going to be the ammo show. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time, Coach. We wish you the best Saturday right. night and the rest of your career. God Thank bless you. Right. Thank you. Appreciate it.